How many grams of water are needed to fully react with 1.24 grams of calcium metal? We can immediately identify this as a stoichiometry question because we're given information about how much calcium we have, but we're asked for water, which is a completely different substance. So we know we are talking about stoichiometry, and we need first a balanced chemical equation. This question has given us a chemical, a chemical equation, but it's not balanced. So our first step will be to balance it, which we can do just by adding a 2 here. Then we want to determine what we're given. We're given a mass of calcium. And our goal is to find oops, how, many, how many grams we're asked about a mass of water. Now remember, this is stoichiometry, so the golden rule is convert to moles. Never forget to convert to moles. Okay, so we'll start with what we're given, 1.24 grams of calcium. First step of stoichiometry is always to take what you're given and convert that to moles. In this case it's grams, so we can convert it to moles using the atomic mass of calcium which we find on the periodic table. Now I've converted from grams of calcium to moles of calcium, so that's the first step of stoichiometry. The next step is to take the moles of what you're given, so we have been given moles of calcium, and it asks us about water. So we want to convert to moles of water. We look at our balanced chemical equation for the coefficients in front of calcium and water. Calcium doesn't have a coefficient, which means that it has one mole, and the coefficient in front of water is two, so two moles of water. Now we've converted from moles of calcium to moles of water. We're almost there. The last step is to take the moles of whatever substance we're looking at and convert it to the unit that it's asked about. So we want to convert, in this case, from moles of water to grams of water. And we do that by using the molar mass, which you can calculate using the periodic table. So if you calculate all that out, we see that we could, or we would need 1.12 grams of water in order to fully react 1.24 grams of calcium.